Exercise 36, question 4. Now we are calculating bricks for the brick wall and the engaged piers and the isolated piers. Now just to prompt you before we start is we have another L-shaped. So these sides here, we won't be taking anything off. Also, we have an internal corner and there are two piers here. One on one side of the corner and one on the other side of the corner. Now, if you look here on question four, there are no prompts. So you might like to have a look at question th three and think, okay, I need to get the length of the wall, length of wall here. So I'm going to come down to here and then put in, I need to get the area. Then I need to bricks for wall. Then I'm going to come and do think about getting my courses and then my engaged peers, engaged and then isolated, the total of the bricks, the total, and then I'm going to add my um, breakages. So they're all the steps that we have. So when we look here, we need to put our figures in first. So let's label it and put the figures in. This is side A, B, C, D, E and F. So with side A, we have to combine these two figures. A is 6.2 plus 8.9 and we're going to get a figure of 15.1. Side B is okay, side C is okay. D, we don't have anything. So we look over here, side B, 9.2 minus 3.5, and we're going to get 5.7 for side D. E, we haven't got a figure, so we need 15.1 minus 8.9, and that E is going to be 6.2 and if we have the side. Okay, so now I'm going to read my question. Calculate the number of bricks to order for the dwarf wall and piers. Allow 7% breakages. The wall is 110 thick, so one skin, and the height of the wall is um, 1032 millimeters. So with my intos and overs, I'm going like this, into, over, into, over, into, over. So we're minusing the width of one brick, so 0 0.11. B, I'm coming down and it's 9.2 minus 0 0.11. C coming across is 8.9 minus 0 0.11. D, I'm going up and it's 5.7 and being on the internal corner I'm minusing 0. Um, e is the same, it's going across, it's 6.2 and it's minus 0. And then F I'm going up and it's 3.5 minus 0 0.11. So we have to calculate the length of this wall. Okay, so the A is going to give us 14.99. B is going to give us 9.09. Uh, C is going to give us 8.79. D is going to give us 5.7. These two are easy. And then F we're going to do is 3. 0.39. We add all of these up and we should get a length of 48.16. So that's my length of the wall. So my area now is, um, area is times the height, so it's going to be 48.16 times my height of my wall. I'm converting one point. Um, zero 
three, two, and um, then I'm going to get a figure of 49.701 meters squared. Now I bring that down for my bricks because it's area times 50 times one. So it's going to be 49.701 times 50 times one. And that will give me an answer of and when we do the calcs, it gives me an answer of 2485.056. But we'll round up and make that 2486.86 bricks. Yep. Okay. So now with the courses, we need the height of the wall. So this one here, I'm going to have it, leave it in millimetres because I'm going to divide by millimetres, 86. So when I do that, I'm going to get number of courses is 12. Okay, 12 courses. So my engaged peers is number of courses, 12 times the number of engaged peers. So all I do is count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twelve times twenty-seven. And so we can use our calculator for that. And so it's going to be 324 bricks. Just for our engaged peers. Now isolated, we're going to use our number of courses, 12 times the number of isolated peers. So just the ones in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Did we get 19? Yes. 12 times 19. Now don't forget to double it because you have two lots of bricks on each level. So we get an answer of 456 bricks. Okay, so now we're going to add them. So we've got the wall at 2,486 plus 324 plus 456. When we add them, um, we're going to get, um, we're going to get, what is it? Um, 3,266 bricks. And then we've got a wastage of 7%. 1.07 uh, so then our order is going to be be about 3,494 or 95 bricks just depending where you round it up